Colorado was lied to. If you believe the governor, we were lied to about how many doses of the vaccine we'd get from the federal government and when. The Trump administration said today there is no federal stockpile of vaccines after all. For Colorado, that means fewer doses in the short term. Yet the state says the major parts of its distribution plan will just continue. Our new Roy looks into how that's possible. I was informed by General Perna today that there is no federal reserve of doses. So instead of the roughly 210,000 doses the state thought it was going to get next week. That leads to 77,950 doses next week. Or 38% of what they thought they'd have. It's still more than they've been doing. Officials were disappointed because they hoped the influx in vaccines would help them get through the 70 and older group faster. But today said they're still on track to vaccinate 70% in this group by the end of February. I was on the call. Governor uh, spoke with General Perna this morning. They also said the state was assured people scheduled for first doses and due for a second one would get one. Moderna and Pfizer are increasing their supply. For the weeks of February 1 to 7, February 8 to 14, February 15 to 21. Uh, th we are expecting the supply in about the 90 to 100,000 range. And what they're sending right now is actually coming right off the manufacturing line. Here's a look at a critical part of phase 1A, long-term care facilities. Do you know if everyone's scheduled at this point? They are. This includes skilled nursing facilities and assisted living facilities that signed up for the federal program that partnered with CVS and Walgreens. That's what they're telling us. It means 203 skilled nursing facilities will have received first doses by this weekend. The remaining six will be done next week. A total of 932 assisted living facilities are due to have their first doses done by the end of the month. Um, it is not a good feeling about how long the program is going to take. Which is why the state will be keeping a close eye on the program. If they do start running into into issues where they're not going to be able to complete by the end of February to let us know. And that could include state vaccination teams stepping in, long-term care facility staff helping out as well. I do want to point out that there are 19 long-term care facilities that did not sign up for this federal program. The state said they're mainly in rural Colorado, so it made more sense for them to work with their local county-level public health agencies. We also had a chance to touch base with a couple of hospital systems who said that they are very disappointed with what they learned about allocations today. They did, however, say 70 and older, they are still being vaccinated, but just keep in mind, some people may be facing a longer wait than they had hoped for, Kyle. Yeah, I want to ask about that, Anusha. I think there's been a lot of focus and talk about the people that are toward the beginning of the vaccine vaccine line. Mm -hmm. But how about for all the folks in general population who are relatively healthy, uh, but would still like the shot? Are, are we still on a timetable to have a, a, a hot vaccine summer? Yeah, I mean, that is a huge question. Lots of people are asking that. I talked to the general, right? How long is it going to take to get the general population enough people vaccinated? He is still hoping for this year, but that is going to hinge on a couple of really important things. One of them is going to be manufacturing of the vaccine, and he's also keeping a very close eye on new vaccines coming online. So a lot of ifs and things that have to happen in between. All right. Thank you, Anusha.